So in the first set, it was kind of a, a little bit of sloppy play compared to what you guys were used to. What did you feel like was kind of going wrong for your team at the beginning? Well, I just didn't have them ready to play. I mean, that's, that's as poor as we played, and maybe since the season started, um, you know, we just... In all phases, we missed a lot of assignments. We were flat energy-wise. We we just weren't sharp today, and uh, we were very fortunate. Southern Miss outplayed us by a large margin in that first set, and uh, you know we were fortunate to get that one. So, and I heard you tell your team to just do their job at the end of the first set. Could you kind of elaborate on what? You well, yeah. About? I mean, you know, some usually when you're when you've got a set in the books, you, you're, you're getting in front of your team and you're making a bunch of adjustments to the kinds of things they're doing. Um, there were really no adjustments to be made. It was just about everybody doing what they were supposed to be doing in the first place. And if that would have happened, it would have been a lot cleaner set. And, you know, we, we chart earned and unearned points, you know, every set that we play. And, and that number had to look pretty bad today. I, I haven't, you know, I'll sit down and watch it later. But, um, you know, when, when one or two kids isn't ready to play, that's on them. When the whole team's not ready to play, that's on me. And um, I didn't have them ready to play today, and we're fortunate to get a win. You know, Laura and uh, Nadia both said that Southern Miss came out with a good game plan and just mm -hmm. executed. What did you see them coming out to do that really gave you offense? Well, um, you know, again, they were just more solid than we were, to be perfectly honest. They took care of the ball better than we did. They kept the ball in play. They, you know, and, you know, but a lot of times they were putting balls right where we were supposed to be standing. Mm -hmm. And um, and we just weren't, you know, it's weren't good. I don't know if we turned into football fans over the weekend instead of volleyball players, but um, you know, there's some reason why we weren't ready to play today and, and, and it's my job to make sure we are and you know, young team learning, maybe a really great lesson to start conference play is, you know, you're playing a team that's been struggling, but mm -hmm. but maybe it's a, a quick understanding for our kids that when you get to conference play, anybody can play with anybody, and, and hopefully we take that from today. Yeah, you just sort of touched on it there, just in hindsight now. I mean, you think that's just a big lesson overall to still get a, you know, a, a win in the conference, yeah. but one of those things that you can really learn. Yeah, what, what Coach Helton said yesterday, uh, you celebrate all the wins or something to that, to that effect, and – and we will, and, and that's what something good's got to come out of it, and, and hopefully that's it. Hopefully it's a clear message to this team that when conference play starts, it's a new season for everybody. And, you know, Southern Miss is well coached. They're, they're just in a transition, and she's done a good job and certainly had them ready to play today. And uh, I know there's sort of a tied 10 at the second set. You kind of pulled Jackson off the side. That's mm -hmm. close What did you kind of see in her? Yeah, you know, again, it's just, I hate to be redundant, but it was things that she already knows she's supposed to be doing. And, um, you know, you notice in the first set, she was very aggressive and was taking swings and finishing plays. In the second set, she started tipping everything. And, you know, getting her to understand that that's her responsibility to stay spaced and keep the ball in front of her and do all the things that, that she knows she's supposed to be doing. And uh, I know it sounds pretty redundant, but that's kind of the story of the day. And uh, I'm glad to get the win. It's a good way to, to you know, like you said, to, to kind of get a message to our kids. Maybe we got to be way different moving forward. And uh, Braves coming off the Conference USA on our first of the week was uh, aggressive in this one. Had the most total attacks in the team. Yeah, you know, this this was a, even a flat match. Paige Briggs hasn't had many flat matches. And today I didn't think she was great. Um, you know, she – and I think she'd be the first person to tell you that. She – you know, we went to her a lot, and she struggled finishing plays, and and that's not something that's happened to her much this year. But again, it's another conference lesson. Scouting reports are a little bit better when you get to conference play; they've got more time to prepare for you, and all of a sudden they're sitting on some of the things that you like to do, and you got to be able to go to your secondary and third, you know, shot sometimes to to score and find the floor, and she'll learn from that. And uh, do you feel like there's kind of any cracks in this team left, or do you feel like you kind of when when you're playing at your peak, you're at this team's best? Well, we have a chance to be really good, and uh, we're we're approaching it. Today was a big step backwards, but uh, but a, a big step backwards with a win is is kind of what you hope your step backwards to be. Um, but but we got to be better. A week from now, we'll have to be way better than we are. We got a rival, Middle Tennessee, coming in on Friday, and then a really hot, really good Marshall team coming Sunday. So we got a week to be better, and we will be.